Can I get you anything else? No, I'm fine. <sighs> um. Oh, goodness, I didn't realize it was so late. I must have lost track of time. I suppose you're wondering why I'm not at home having dinner with my husband. Actually, I... Lee's out of town. He's very busy with the new railroad contract. I heard. He doesn't like small projects. He likes to think big. It's really not so bad, him being so busy. I'm sure we'll find time to curl up next to the fire, or go for long walks together, listen to soft music late into the evening when we're 85. Rosemary, <laughs> hey, don't Mr. cry. It's not that bad. <gasps> It is worse than bad. Lee said it himself. He said, now the real work starts. I'm afraid I'm never going to see him again. Well, that's not true. That sawmill's going to be running before you know it. And Lee's going to have plenty of time to spend with you. Do you really think so? Well, I know so. Well, what will I do until then? Just focus on something else. There isn't anything else. <sighs> My advice, Colin, but... Ever since the honeymoon, that's fallen by the wayside. I went and checked the mailbox last week. Not a single letter. No one in town is having any problems. Except for me! Oh, oh, oh. Rosemary. <laughs> Rosemary. You've worked at this cafe before, haven't you? Yes. Well, with all these new people coming to town, we're gonna need some help here. Abigail's busy being mayor. I've got my own business to run. We can't count on Clara to do everything on her own. Are you offering me a job? And it might help start your column again. How so? You wouldn't believe the rumors I hear around here. You know, Mrs. Sullivan, she's got eyes for the new barber. And she could use your advice. You know what? You're right. The cafe is a great place to find out what's going on. I'll take the job. Great. I will take your plate. I will take it myself. If I'm going to work for you, might as well jump in right away. 